fucking cunt you. Am I supposed to stop at ten? <laughs> Hello, number four, please. Hang on. Oh shit, that was a quid I reckon. <laughs> no, it's alright. I just dropped something down there and I think it was, it's bound to be a pound. <laughs> Two hours later. Oh no, no, there it is. Ah, it is a quid. It was a quid as well. Yeah, I just dropped it around there and it's like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, or, 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 yeah, gonna say. I, I donated to Shell because I think they're not making enough money. Yeah. Ten pounds, splash and dash, please. Oh, it's Andy from the Flying Yeti Channel. Back again with another video, uh, six years later. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm not a massive channel, and no one's going to mind if I don't do a video. In fact, uh, most people prefer it if I don't do a video because all I seem to do is waffle a load of crap. I don't actually come out with anything meaningful. Um, but anyway, today I thought I'd waffle about: uh, Are you ever too old to ride a motorcycle? And um, this one's only just spring to mind because obviously I haven't rehearsed anything. You can tell that, can't you? But there's me, an old man, um, coming up 57, you know, in about another three weeks' time. 57, oh my god! I'll be having my bus pass soon. And uh, Sam in front, who's in his 30s, and I'm on the GS, and he's on the S1000R. Look, a 71 Reg S1000R. In the nice grey colour, whatever that beam I call that grey, but nice grey, it's like undercoat grey. But anyway, when I was his age and younger, I wouldn't have even known these things existed. And GSs have been around for 40 years, and I never ever even remotely looked at them. Didn't know they were, didn't know, as I say, they existed. All I was into is sports bikes. Oh, sports bikes. I mean, even from like an early age when you're a kid and you know, you're you're not old enough to ride. It's like, oh look, racing bike, racing car, racing bike. All you ever notice is racing things. And as you get older, like myself, as already outlined, you start, it's not like a conscious thing, it's just sort of like, you don't wake up one day and think, you know what, I don't like sports bikes, I like GSs and Harley Davidsons or whatever. It's just sort of, a, you gradually morph into this old age without realising, because in my head, I'm still probably 20-odd, I'm sort of like a man-child, if you like. Um, but maybe I've grown up a little bit, because I found myself looking at these a few years ago, thinking, oh, that looks really nice, that. I could, I could see myself in that. That's definitely a bit of me, that GS. The sports bikes, even though I've still got my R1, are kind of like, yeah, riding the R1 on the road, yeah. Riding the R1 on the track, even, it's like, yeah, I don't mind doing a few track days for like a zillion pounds. But you get to that stage where that gradually sort of like tails off, dwindles off over the years. So I don't know how long I'm going to be doing track days for. Especially on the R1, you think, what the hell have I bought that thing? It's not like I could get the most out of an R6 or an SV650 even around the track. As demonstrated by one of my mates who come bombing past me at Donington on SV650. And, uh, I want like a 200 horsepower R1, but anyway, I shan't dwell on that too much. So, are you ever too old to ride a motorbike? I think the straight answer is no, you are never too old. But your taste in motorcycles will definitely change as you get older. I mean, you know, whenever I deliver a, a BMW motorbike, which if you don't already know, which why would you, then um, I've been delivering a few bikes here and there for North Oxford BMW. Um, whenever I deliver one, it's always to somebody my age. They need to get into the younger market, don't they? I don't know how they're going to do that, but yeah, it's, it's basically older sort of guys that have most of the BMWs. Apart from the obvious ones, like maybe the s r and r and the, uh, the RR, obviously. But there's nothing wrong with that. You know, 
you have what pleases you. Everyone's like, oh, GS, it's a bit boring, isn't it? Everyone's got a GS. Ten a penny. Uh, well, yeah, but you know, I happen to like my GS, and I'm not riding it for your benefit, I'm riding it for my benefit, so. If we pull up at a biker's cafe and nobody looks at my GS, do I care? No, not in the slightest, to be honest with you. Because, like I've already said about three seconds ago, it's my bike, I like riding it. It's for me, it's not for you. I'm not paying a zillion pounds, whatever this bike costs, 18 grand or whatever. I'm not paying, for argument's sake, I'm not paying 18,000 pounds for you to go, wow, look at that. I'm paying it for me to go, oh, I like this. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I've got no idea where we're going. I'm following Sam, and we're gonna, it's a lovely little countryside here, right? Well, this, this is probably like 20 miles from my house. And I ain't got a clue where I am. It's, it's mad, isn't it? Where you, you think you'd know every inch of every bit of tarmac within 20 mile radius of your house. But yes, as um, you can go out adventuring on a venture bike and discover things within 20 miles of your house. Why bother going to the Alps when you've got this on your doorstep? What is that? Hello, Mr. R1. Nice colour, actually, that. Oh, look, I'm looking at the sports bikes again. Stop it. You're old. So anyway, we're, we're heading over towards Peterborough Way, apparently so, because, oh look at that, nice that, I like that, it's a big, big old house over there, but Downton Abbey looking house. Apparently there's a calf over here somewhere, which, looking at the pictures, it doesn't look so extraordinary, it's more like a port cabin sort of affair. But it comes highly rated, highly recommended, so we're going to try and find it. We're not 100% sure where we're going, so Sam's got more of a sense of direction than me, so hence he's in front, because I got lost going to Sam's house, which I've been to up teen times. But, uh, yeah, joys are getting old, the old uh, Alzheimer's kicking in a treat. La 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 la! A lot of Range Rovers around here, look. He slowed down, otherwise you get f camera filming you. Please speed check area, please slow down. I'm doing 29 miles an hour, heavy now. How slow would you like me to go? Lovely day, isn't it? It's 17 degrees and sunny and... I love this time of year where everything's like coming to life. Everyone's coming out, you know, people are out in the garden, even though it's not, you know, roasting hot, 17 degrees, it's just like pleasant warm. And everything's starting to grow. Look, the blossoms on the trees, all the leaves are coming out. Birds like sweeping down and getting things, ripping their heads off. Oh, it's beautiful. The old countryside. Yong, yong, yong. Apparently, according to that sign, there is like deers and cows in the road. Stolen the deers and the cows because they're not them in the road. I need a wee, I need a wee. Too much coffee and riding a bike is not a good combination. Did you know that rapeseed is apparently poisonous to dogs? Which I'm glad I've seen that post. Whether it's true or not, I'm not going to risk it because I was looking at all these nice yellow fields and yellow blue. Oh, there he goes. Look, he's doing it. Stop irritating stuff. I'm not uh, and I was thinking to myself, oh, that's a nice fight opportunity. Get the dog, get Willow in the, the old rapeseed field and take a nice picture. That's some nice contrasting colours, never. But apparently it's poisonous to dogs, so um, I'm not going to do that. We love a baby dog, it's just my baby dog. Just my baby dog. Mustard on that bloody car or if you can turn it. Where's he going now? Oh, don't leave me. Where's he gone now? What are they? Oh, fuck it. Oh, bollocks. Fucking nuisance has gone round now. I knew you'd do that, bastard. Where am I going now? Is that over? I think so. Do, 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do bit of steamage, I've got it like just cracked at the bottom, just cracked open a little bit, a little bit of air in. Do you ever have those days where you just don't feel like you can ride very well? I'm having one of them now at the moment. It's just my baby dog! Just my baby dog. I can't stop singing that stupid song! A lot of signs to read, isn't there? Mud on road, reduced speed, that's going right. Well, that's going right, there's no mud on the road. How can you have Permanent signs saying mud on the road. How, how is there always mud on the road? That must take some maintaining to keep putting mud on the road every day, all the time. And then that's why people don't take notice of road signs for It's a bit of the old, uh, as if there's mud on the road every day, all the time, to warrant a permanent sign saying mud on the road. It's like saying that one back there, beware the cows. It's like, what, is there always cows on the road? No. So when you don't see a cow, you think, that's a lot of bollocks that's fine. Mud on the road, no mud, that's a lot of crap as well. 30 mile an hour, oh, obviously it's not. I'm not falling for that one again, you, you know what I mean? I do fall for that one by the way, because I'm an all abiding citizen. Yeah, we're going left on the old uh, A47? Possibly, I think this is the 47, it might not be. Let's have a look. See how good my memory is. 47, yes it is 47. No road studs. Okay. Is that good or bad? Not having any studs in the road. I don't know. But I think Sam's gotta be back at 2 o'clock because apparently there's some people playing football on the TV. I can't say I'm overly fussed about watching that. People try and convert you into their sport or their pastime, their hobby. Oh, no, no, it's brilliant. You want to... I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I like going fishing. I mean, admittedly, I've been for ages, which is unlike me, but that's another story. But I like fishing. And if I say, I'm going fishing, and somebody says to me, oh, that's so boring, look what you see in that. And I'm like, oh, good, I'm glad you find that boring, and I'm glad you don't see what I see in that. Because if everybody likes fishing, then I'm going to be sitting shoulder to shoulder with everybody. And to me, fishing's about, it's not all about catching fish. Fishing, if you catch fish, yeah, don't be wrong, it's nice. It's kind of like a bit of a bonus, really. But a lot of it's like just sitting there and out in the wilds, beautiful surroundings. All you hear is like the old ducks quacking and just sit there and relax. I don't want to be relaxing with like 10,000 people all around me and the inevitable like three foot of crap everywhere lager cans and Red Bull cans people throw Red Bull cans because obviously it gives you wings but wings uh, but it's probably because Red Bull gives you wings and then oh me, me arms are gone I can't put that can in the bin now because now I've got wings how am I supposed to pick the empty can up? Fuck tards, mate. Oh, here we go again. Look. Look, I don't want to get past that because I can't friggin' see now. And he's going to turn off somewhere, and I'm like, oh, look, you can, I can't have a take that, can I? It's a bend coming up. Look, I, I want to eat something, but I'm not prepared to risk my life for it. And there's, now there's a car coming, now I can see, I can't really the way. Ah, I think it's here. Well, look, flags. Flags! Behold the flags and behold the calf. Oh yeah, baby! We've made it! Oh, there's quite a few bikes here, my old birdies. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, this is a nice little hidden gem. I didn't realise this was there. Oh, I like it, I like it. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I do know them rise a little bit, to be fair. Huh? Uh, I love you. I love you, now. Yeah, it's alright. Just not nice temperature. This is a lovely little spot, look. This is wicked, isn't it? 
bike so. It's alright, isn't it? Is this still actually working or not? Yeah. So what's this calf called again? We're at a calf. Two flags, I think. Two flags? Because it's got two flags on it. Look at that for a beast. Do you know what that reminds me of? Have you ever seen that what? film? Disney Cars. You know, the Pixar thing? No. Okay, you're too old for that. Disney Cars. Look at this. Got you born in the war. That's a bit of me, that is. That little Suzuki. That's wagon R, yeah. Is that a G-Wagon? That's a wagon R, it says on the side. That's just as good as a G-Wagon, I think. You get some proper rapping blokes driving that. So yeah, it's a nice, um, so we're on the A47, just outside of Corby, heading towards Leicester. This is Rutland. where Rutland Shire. Is it Rutland Shire? So we've got a fair old selection of bikes that going on. There's a old bike. What is that thing? It's nice, isn't it? Proper machinery here. Your Harleys. Another bike coming in. There's some shanty looking American car. Probably better. Yeah, but he hasn't got that muscle yet. Mm. Well worth a look at it. Oh yeah, two flags so cap, look. SP2. That SP2 is beautiful. Look at that. That is immaculate. Proper blingy. The violins and Brembo's going on. Huge packages in that twist, can Look at the, uh, I like the blue exhaust. I like the detail to it, it's awesome. Brembo, blue. Look at the old Brembo. Um, See all this carry on, all that carry on there. The old top there looks nice. Is that, is that a standard clock, Joe? Yeah, that is a standard clock. Is it? Beautiful, isn't it? And that tank as well, it looks all nice. It's a standard tank. Yeah. Well, I think he's had it painted. Well, I don't know if he's had it painted. This must be one of the. Nice, isn't it? The old street fryer. Hanging on for dear life on that one. <laughs> yeah, I dare say. Yeah, it's nice, mate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah the fucking bag of maggots on it. <coughs> yeah. Is that the new new one? No. It's 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 got a more like that's um, yeah, a crappy GS. Yeah, don't know who that is. There you go. That's where we are here. Sun's out. Bikes out. Bikes out. Check out the dinner, so you get all this. My camera angle is really crap. Can you see that there? You get all of that plus refill on the tea, plus gravy and sauce for the old uh, white broccoli. Seven quid. Oh, that's what that is. It's cheese sauce. Cheese sauce for the broccoli. Seven quid. All of that lot. Tea and uh, what, what do you got? Tea and you know, a scrambled egg bat. That was only six quid, and then getting unlimited refills on the old oh, yeah. Unlimited refills, we're going to be taking so recession, recession busting. So, uh, yeah, big thumbs up for the old cat.